These ones are all shiny because these are ones that I transferred over. So all the ones that I had that were transferable were shiny. My non shinies I believe are actually on um, BDSP right now. Yawn. Yawn. Bomber, man. We are back with the Urban Legends team against Javi or Javi. I have no idea what language that is, so it could be pronounced like an H. And they have a Meow Scarada as the lead, and we start off with Bigfoot. Yeah, Bigfoot. So, we actually have two little gimmicks going on with this team. We have Rillaboom and what's the other oh um saws book that are partners then we have swana and milotic and then we have uh um volcarona and typhlosion it's a really weird like little group of two teams but we can just go for the um the fake out here so we'll pop it in the face get off some good damage um we'll see if it has an extra item yet nope and then we can go for the acrobatics because it's super effective it's gonna go for the u-turn okay we do have the defense increase from the Grassy Seed. That still did a lot of damage because we are, I believe, we're either Adamant or Jolly, but max attack and max speed. So we don't have any bulk except for, like, the six points into defense they can get from, like, just EV training on the side. The other day when our uh, internet had went down because there was, like, an accident in the neighboring town, I, I ended up catching a shiny, um, Sinistra. Well, it was, um, it's pre-evolution. But, it was really funny because I caught a shiny and trained it up all within like half an hour and I'm like, jeez. Alright, so this guy is using your typical OU team though. Nothing, nothing special there. I do believe we can outspeed it, so we'll just go for the knockoff to get rid of the Rocky Helmet. Just so we can get, you know, get it out of the way. We'll die. Bigfoot doesn't really do too much to their team anyway. So we'll get rid of the Rocky Helmet. That's something that's always useful. And this is gonna go for like... Oh, okay, it has an Iron Head. Wait, it didn't even KO me. What the heck? Bro, come on. Um, Knockoff is still just our best bet. It does the most damage. And then it's gonna go for U-Turn. Never U-Turn when you're KOing a Pokemon. Why? Because now I get Switch Initiative, not you. Because now I get to see what you're going into. It's going to something that can either deal with it or deal with the Pokemon that you're going to send in after you switch it out. So, you know, not the greatest idea to finish a Pokemon off with U-Turn unless it's like your last move and your last Pokemon. So we got Meow Scarada, which is interesting, I guess. So we'll send out Charman, the Unrivaled. And let's see, does he have anything to resist fire? He only, well, he has two, but I don't think um, he'll send them out, will he? Wait, I'm Choice Scarf, which means that this guy is also Choice Scarf, by the way. It's the only way he'd outspeed us. We're timid. Why does it outspeed us? We're either timid or naive. No, this one's timid, despite it having Earthquake. Hmm. We have to deal with Garchomp. Blast him! Can we get the burn? Wait, can Eruption burn? I actually don't know if Eruption can burn. Why is his entire team bulky? What is this nonsense? This is not what I signed up for in this game. Oh no, our grass expired. No. Now you're useless. Oh, we do have... We do have you, though. Actually, both our water Pokemon can deal with them. So, we'll send out Boggy Creek. Boggy Creek should be able to do something here with the Icy Wind. Our beautiful shiny Swanner, which actually doesn't look that shiny, by the way. Yeah, the flapping. Sometimes we just have to stop and listen to, like, the, uh, the sound effects going on. I just think it always sounds funny. So we'll go for the Icy Wind. I don't know if it knows that we get Icy Wind. I think this Pokemon also gets Ice Beam. But I ran out of Ice Beam TMs at the time and just wasn't in the mood to grind them. And then I'm like, wait, Icy Wind actually helps with the fact that our team is pretty slow. 
Now here's where Freeze Dry would come in. Why is Slow King so big? Slow King is like double the size of its trainer. Like that's insane. It's just like, oh hello, I'm like double the size of my trainer. But you know. All right. This guy is literally just using stall Pokemon, by the way. There's literally nothing else. Even his Garchomp is bulky. All right, we'll send out Wendigo. Man, if only I had a dark type. I don't know if we can win this battle just because it's annoying. We are terror type ghost though. That's good. So we'll go for the sword stance. He should switch out. Yeah, because we are grass type. Grass type defeats water type easily. And then it's Corviknight, so we can't eat berries, but we have seeds anyway. So we'll go for the sword stance. I'm sad though that we were one turn too late to get our um to get our seeds off. Uh we'll lose the flying type or the flying type, the flying weakness by turning into ghost. I don't think it'll help us too too much if you think about it. It's just here to aid us in, you know, making sure we're not weak to fighting, flying, fire, ice. There's so many weaknesses. And we'll go for the body slam. Hopefully get the paralysis. Nice, because now we could potentially make it so it can't move. Alright. So it has Taunt Iron Head. That's not going to do too much. Wait, that one shot me. Why did that one shot me? That's insane. Ah, uh, this thing's gotta die. Sir, I do not like you. And you're gonna have to die for it. Alright, Mothman. Even though you're a woman, let's go. Just go for the fiery dance. No reason not to. Even if it switches into something like Slow King, we can still take care of it. Okay, it's dead. Good. There we go. Yeah, and we got the special attack boost. You will have no idea how many times I've used this move on like the random Pokemon ladder there in Showdown. Specifically yesterday. And I never got the boost. Charge Beam never gave me a boost. Fire Dance never gave me a boost. Um, <clears throat> What are some of the other ones? There are a few other moves. It's just like how many times I got paralyzed in a row was absolutely insane. Now, the biggest wall would be Chansey, because we can hit Slow King, Garchomp. I'm trying to think if we outspeed Garchomp, though. We don't have anything to go into it, so that's something. But we do have the Bug Buzz, which is Stab, and it is neutral, and it is plus one, so that should do some good. Aw, I never realized, but Volcarona has cute little nubby hands. Oh, we do outspeed it, nice. Ah, plus one didn't do much. All right. Also, Volcarona has a stinger type thing at the end of its, uh, uh, what is that called? It's not its torso. Thorax, at the end of its thorax. It's, that's kind of interesting, I guess. Now, technically, we could go for the fire dance and try and get the boost. Also, he's terrestrializing. Unless it's steel type, I don't see what the point of it is. Oh, it's fire type. Weird, consider. I guess it's to get rid of his weakness to ice and dragon, but like at the same time, that seems weird. That still got one. That still just ah. That was just as bad as my terrestrialization. This battle. Holy cow. There we go. I still expect Chansey, not Meow Scarada. Now, we know for a fact that this thing is Choice Scarf. So... What do you think it'll go for? U-turn? Okay. Yay, we're gonna survive this. Wait, is that Choice Scarf or Choice Band? Because that did quite a bit. But, we should be fine now, because we're just gonna go for the Quiver Dance. We do not want to keep switching in and out, though, because rocks are on the field, and rocks are gonna hurt us. Chansey, the stupid little egg. Alright. This, this thing probably is like soft boil 
Seismic Toss, Thunder Wave. That type of thing, I guess. We can lower its special defense with Bug Buds, though. Wait! Oh, it was Spikes, not Stealth Rocks. Garchomp used Spikes, not Stealth Rocks. Alright, so we're gonna try and fish off the, um... The special attack buff again. Oh, there's the seismic toss. Oh, we got the burden, though. That's pretty solid. Sadly, though, the rest of our Pokemon are special attackers, so they don't really get to do anything. And then we'll just go for the bug buzz, I guess, just in case we need to fight with something else. That was a crit. Alright, it's gonna delay the inevitable. These people who use stall instead of, like, other teams are just boring. Like, stall is winnable to beat, but, like, at the same time, just kind of look at it and go, why? Give me the special attack buff. No. This thing has no life, by the way. Battles like this are just stupid. We're already 12 minutes in, and yet this battle is just... Never ending because let's use stall. If I had a physical fighting type though, this thing would be dead a million times over. Now we do have the earthquake on Charmen though. So that could be something we could do. We have cute charm, that doesn't really work. So we'll send out um Charman here. Alright, Charman, let's go. For some reason, this is one of my two unrivaled Pokemon that are actually leveled up. Or, not leveled up, trained up. I, I don't know why. It was him and what? Oh, I guess Greninja and, and there was the... What was the first one? Charizard? Yeah, Charizard. I think Charizard's in Pokemon Home, though. That did nothing, by the way. Oh yeah, there's just nothing we can do. This is another battle where you just get screwed by the fact that they literally only brought stall Pokemon. I wish you could, like, report people for just, like, being extremely boring, but I guess I'll find battle number two, because this is just getting annoying. Alright, our second battle is against Cory, who's using a Sun Team, so at least it's something a little different, right? Weather teams aren't that common. They're somewhat common in VGC, but they're not really that common here. Now, we know for a fact that's going to set up the drought for his entire team, because here, I'll, I'll show you his entire team. There, it's all fire types except for Dragonite and Sylveon. Just for type coverage, because you don't want just all... Wait. Oh man, I forgot that this isn't the right Pokemon. Milotic is the one that has some... Um, uh... Rain Dance. My god. Can't believe I'm an idiot like that. So now we'll switch into Milotic, or Loch Ness, a Pokemon that we never got to use last time. These ones are all shiny because these are ones that I transferred over, so all the ones that I had that were transferable were shiny. My non shinies I believe, are actually on um, BDSP right now. Yawn. Yawn! Bomber, man. I hate the Yawn sets. Alright, what Pokemon are we going into? Sylveon. Sylveon's a weird choice for a bulky water type. But, sure. So we'll go for the Rain Dance. It's now raining, and we want to go into... What can deal with this Pokemon? You know what? I think Bigfoot could deal with it. Wow, that's also the VGC set. Why would they be running the VGC set in singles, though? Like, that's kind of weird to me, honestly. There we go, we'll set up that, and then we'll get off our seed. Nom nom nom. There's our defense boost. And they withdrew Sylveon. Wait, did they know I was gonna go in? Did they know I was gonna go into... 
I don't think we can win this battle, by the way. I guess we can go for the knockoff and hope that we can knock off its item. Oh, it missed its overheat. Oh, thank God. Woof. Go. Knock off. Ay ay ay. But then we know that it's going to be weakened once it goes for that, so... That's a thing, I guess. Because then they'll... Now they'll want to switch out. Why you'd go for overheat? You can't tell me your only offensive attack on your Ninetales is overheat. There's Burning Jealousy and Flamethrower and Fire Blast. Why overheat? That's kind of a weird choice if you ask me. But... Um, it's weakened. That won't do anything to his team. But we do have Charman. Charman should be able to do something. Let's go. Eruption's weakened, sadly. That's what makes Eruption such a bad move. It's just because, like, there's so many Pokemon that, uh, like, that get it, that are just screwed by- oh, if that's Air Balloon, then that sucks, but... No, it's not Air Balloon. Good. Wait, why did that do so- Aw, oh, come on, man. Alright, I'll try for one more battle. This is just- we just can't win. Man, this is just brutal. Alright, so I guess we're gonna have to end it at two battles, because for whatever reason, all we do is keep finding Corgi and Cute Red Panda. That's it. So, this team, while it actually had some good strategies, it just... We ran into Stall with a bunch of special attackers, and that kind of screwed us over. And then we ran into Sun, where an Earthquake on Typhlosion literally did an eighth of the HP damage to frickin' um, what's-his-face to Heatran. So, next up will be the Dead by Daylight team for Friday's video, so I will see you guys then. Remember to join the Patreon, Discord, and links below. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.